Hi guys, it's Jay here with another review and today I've promised this review for a long time now and um, I've simply forgot to do it. So I got this game, Oh, when did I get this game? March? Yeah. I think it came out in March or something or June even, I'm not sure, but it came out before then and I forgot to review it. So here we go, let's get cracking. This is Dirt Showdown for PS3. So... Let me tell you a bit about this game. Dirt Showdown is a spin-off from Dirt series, Dirt Colin McRae. Then sadly, Colin McRae passed away. So they changed it to Dirt 3, which is where Dirt 3 came along. And I have Dirt 3. Sorry about that, guys. I have Dirt 3 right here. So Dirt 3 basically came... This is the complete edition, basically. It includes over the content... And there's uh, Jim Carner, as it says here. So, the difference between these two games are this Dirt 3 is about rallying. And this is about, I would say it's a bit like Burnout. So, you know how in Burnout, how they used to be able to smash things to destruction. It still has an element of rallying, but it's more of quick rallying, like destroy rallying, it's a very different image on the way that they do the sport. Now they have included Jim Gymkhana, don't get me wrong, I love the Jim Gymkhana, they've included exactly the same Jim Gymkhana, which I thought was, eh, I expected a little more from Codemasters for that, I thought they'd add a different one, but I suppose it's Dirt, it's Showdown, it's about Dirt 3, so yeah, they've included the Battersea Compound, and they've unlocked the three zones for this, for this, which is on this disc. Now they've also added a different feature and a different map, should I say. And it's called Yokomato, I think. Hold on, let me take a look. It's inside here. And it's a Jim Karna. So basically, they say it's um they say it's a construction site sort of thing. So it's a really nice construction site that is um based around it sounds japanese but whether it is i don't know but it's a construction site basically yokohama it's called and it's um a do it's got dockside construction site and container yard and they've got three different for that and then you've got the battersea compound inside that you've got loads of um hidden packages to find and that's the same for the battersea compound which is in Dirt 3. Now, all of the hidden packages and missions are exactly the same. This is what I was saying about Codemasters. They're exactly the same as what's on here. So, the Battersea compound for this is exactly the same. The missions are the same for this one. It's exactly the same hidden packages, which I found it was good because I enjoyed the compound, to be honest with you. The compound is really good. Now, we also still have, on this game, we have Boost. So we have a boost and health. And also we still... So the boost works. You, everyone knows how boost works. Boost has worked great on this game. I think they should have included it on Dirt 3. But if they included it on Dirt 3, it wouldn't have been so realistic like the way they've done it. But I still love the game. They've also pulled out the YouTube element, which is where you can upload gameplay. Now, I haven't done it with Dirt Showdown... But I've definitely done it with this because this includes it as well. So you can upload gameplay, a short snippet of what you want to do. A short snippet of a game, something like that. So you can do a bit about it, a bit about that. You can choose, basically. So, um, yeah. All, in, all out of all, for a rallying person, I would say, because a lot of people ask me this, what is the difference between Dirt 3 or Dirt Showdown? If I had the choice, which I do, I got both. If you're tight on a budget, I mean, go for Dirt Showdown. But for a more exclusive package, and DLC is more for your money, and it's cheaper, I guess, go for Dirt 3 Complete Edition. Yeah, it may have been out longer, but it's still a very good game. But this game, hats off to it. I would rate this game a 9 out of 10. Um, simply because... The elements where they've copied from Dirt 3, I didn't really like. I wanted them to add even more Jim Karna. But then, I suppose, then it wouldn't be Showdown. So, it, that's just my preference. For this game, I would rate... This isn't a review for this, but this one, I would say a 9.5. It just edges it a little bit, because you get the DLC. So, really, guys, this is all I've got to say. 
This game is a very good game. I would recommend it to anyone. Codemasters, great people. Keep on what you're doing because I love their games. Everything they design, from the damage critique to everything. So don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe. Any questions, don't feel free to ask. See you soon on the next video.